In today's video, we're gonna be looking at whether or not the Great Dane makes a good guard dog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Great Dane Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Great Dane. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Great Dane, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Great Dane upload. So then let's get into today's video where we'll be looking at whether or not the Great Dane makes a good guard dog. So let's get started. In this video, we'll be focusing on the Great Dane and whether or not they make good guard dogs, but let's just have a look at dogs in general to begin with. Dogs are intelligent and complex animals, meaning that they're all different and all have their own personalities. I don't think it's too brave of me to say that you won't find any two exactly the same. So, regardless of the breed, there are many contributing factors to their ability and likeliness to be a good guard dog. Some breeds will be more protective of their homes and owners, but that can be because of their breed history, training, socialisation, or even just the dog's own personality. We'll look at the history and temperament of the Great Dane in relation to their guard dog skills and have a summary at the end. So this well-loved giant, the Great Dane, has records of drawings that bear a resemblance to dogs dating back to Egyptian times around 3000 BC. It's thought that the breed was taken across the globe by the Assyrians who used the dogs in trade deals with the Greeks and Romans. But it was the Germans that refined the breed to the elegant, well-balanced dog we know today. Throughout the late 1800s, the aggression was bred out of the former hunting dogs, giving way to a gentle giant that's still loved today. Historically, the Great Dane has been used for a couple of purposes, hunting and guarding. Firstly, they were hunting aids. Because of their impressive size, they used to take down bigger game, but once hunting lost its popularity, the purpose moved to a more of a gardening role. And this role has stuck with them the most. Whilst they aren't persistent barkers, they will bark to alert you to what they perceive as a threat to you or your home. They're gentle animals on the whole, so aren't likely to confront a threat, but they will be sure to let you know about it with their impressive voice. The allure of having a dog as big as the Great Dane is that it's a natural guardian, but it's actually one of the softest breeds out there and is one of the main reasons that they're so popular. That and their goofy personalities. So with that, let's look into the Great Dane's temperament and how well they do as a guard dog. It's no surprise when I tell you that Great Danes are known as gentle giants. This is the allure of having a dog as big or even bigger than yourself. They make beautiful additions to families. Their peaceful disposition and relentless attempts at being a lap dog will just make them a joy to be around. They're often people orientated and will go so far as to defending home and family should they feel the need to. Hey guys, just a really quick message to ask you, are you on TikTok? And if you are on TikTok, I think you'd really enjoy coming and checking out our Fenrir page over on TikTok. There'll be a link in the description box below. Don't worry, you're not going to see me dancing, but I promise you there's tons of extremely valuable helpful content of me working with dogs and providing as much information and helpful valuable tips and tricks along the way to help you become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions so if you are interested i can't wait to see you over on tiktok but in the meantime i'll let you get back to the video you were watching there is a guarding trait to this dog but it is a somewhat muted attribute in the great dane and they will only tend to do it in the home or when they're out with the family they're extremely loyal to their families and are great family dogs for this reason they can also be socialized to be extremely gentle around children which is recommended with such a big dog when they are guarding it can be seen in their proud vigilant stance they have and regardless of if they're sitting standing or lying down it can be a formidable sight and these are quiet protectors unless the threat is posed they don't tend to bark you'll more than likely hear them grumbling which isn't the same as growling and this is normally heard during play or when they're feeling sassy so let's do a quick recap the Great Dane is a natural guard dog. They were originally bred as hunting aids, but their temperament evolved to be better suited to a guarding role. They're gentle protectors, able to be socialised, to be docile enough even around children, but always vigilant in the home. Their stance alone can be a formidable sight. The size and stature of the Great Dane is nothing short of impressive and noble. And pair this with a booming bark that this breed has, you can be sure that any intruder that thought of even approaching your home will think twice 
twice before trying the chances against your four-legged guardian. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Great Dane Show.